If you hear someone say that homosexuality is unnatural, you can be pretty sure you're not listening to a scientist because scientists know that homosexual behavior does happen in the wild, all over nature. Lots of different animal species have displayed that sort of behavior. And there are even some cases where animals not only display homosexual behavior once in a while, but where an individual will clearly prefer homosexual relations over heterosexual relations. Every single society that has ever been studied scientifically by anthropologists and scientists, you find evidence of same-sex sexuality. Every single animal species that has ever been studied finds you know, evidence of same-sex sexuality. So I'm not really sure what version of nature uh, uh, they're uh, sort of coming out with. Well, th th there is an interesting animal model for sexual orientation, and that's the, uh, uh, the RAM model that has been uh, uh, studied uh, um, um, mainly at uh, Oregon uh, Health Science University uh, by Chuck Roselli and uh, this model is interesting because first of all it shows that um, same-sex sex preference uh, is uh, just like in humans it's also present in, uh, in animals. Um, the second thing is there are similar changes in brain anatomy um, that are present in the rams that are preferentially um, attracted, if you will, or aroused by, um, uh, by same-sex partners uh, com compared to what is found in the, in the brain of, uh, uh, of gay men. So um, there seems to be um, uh, enough similarities between this animal model and uh, um, and what's happening in in gay men that uh, it's it's a worthwhile tool to continue to explore to actually figure out what those biological mechanisms uh, for sexual orientations are I think what I'd like people to understand is that sexual behaviors in many species, and rams being the one that I study, uh, are varied. Uh, there is not just one type of sexual behavior, that being oriented male to female or female to male, that when you really stop and look, test the animal's behaviors, there's quite a bit of variation. And it's not just situational or one-time kind of affairs, that there can actually be uh, attractions for same sexes that are as enduring as opposite sex attractions. Bruce Bogomil has written a book, um, Biological Exuberance, where he has documented that over 1,500 species of animals show some form of homosexual behavior. None of them studied as rigorously or as well as, as uh, we've studied rams. Not, very few of them studied in the laboratory. But it's clear that uh, it is not isolated to um, uh, animals that are kept in unnatural conditions or um, animals that are, are in some way traumatized. This is a behavior that, that occurs naturally and it's a variation that occurs naturally.